Welcome everybody. In this meeting we are going to be talking about the kiln brick failures. Excuse me. Yes Craig. I thought this was the meeting about MEP. No. If this was a MEP meeting you would have brought donuts. Oh yeah? Thought's right. Because MEP means donuts. Now I'm hungry I wish I had some popcorn. You guys should really try some fresh fruit instead. Gentlemen, can we please get started with the meeting? I am sorry Mike. Please continue. Okay, I'm sure you have all reviewed the 16 very lengthy emails I sent out regarding the hot spots on the kiln shell. I don't understand how in the time since we decided to take the kiln down 30 minutes ago, you managed to generate so much email. You know me. I'm no stranger to this dance. Jenna, if you would please speak to the action plan at this point. Sure, we are going to be shutting down the kiln soon, NN. Dan. Yes, I'm here. What do I do if I'm not sure what to do in a situation? Remember, always take control. Never let them think you don't know what you are talking about. But what if someone else is running the meeting? No. That should never happen. No matter where you are, you must always command the meeting. Remember great leaders always point when they talk, and ask unreasonable things of their subordinates. Their lives are just mere tools at your disposal. Remember these things and get back in there. So, we should hear back really soon from the vendor on lead time for the... Hold on a minute. I heard somebody say kiln brick. Yeah that was me. When is it going to be here? That is what I was just talking about. The vendor is getting us. Wait. Who is going to be working on the finish meal repairs? I was going to be overseeing that job. How long is that job going to take? It was last planned out as a 16-week job. Well, it is not going to work for us. I need people to work around the clock to get it done in four. We just don't have the resources to. Stop right there. I am going to need you, Jenna. And you, Fred, to work from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. to drive the cruise and get the job done in four weeks. That gives you the legally required eight hours off between shifts. And the same goes for the rest of you. Todd, I think we might be jumping the gun a little bit here. Nonsense. I also want the hourly workforce to split into three shifts to give us 24-hour coverage. But remember they get zero over time. Whoa. You know we will do what it takes for our plant. But we do have lives and families to take care of. How else could we do this? Well first of all let's start by finishing our planning before we get. Damn. I am here. What is it now? What if they are already on top of the situation, and know what they are doing? No. That can never happen. But what if they have really good ideas? No. I said never. But... You didn't ask them what they thought you should do, did you? Uh... Yes I may have. Oh dear. But they were. Stop. Next time you are in a meeting with them I want you to pick out the first two with ideas. And then crush them. Yes. Of course. Um, but how? Remember what I taught you. You have the ideas. Not them. Well I thought that we could have taken the piece down and replaced it with. No. That's enough. We've already went down that road. Fred would you stay after the meeting for a bit so we can talk? Uh, okay. Jenna. You are going to complete the material count I asked you for before you leave tonight. Correct? Actually I thought it would be much more efficient if I worked on the job planning and had Kevin. Stop. That is not what I asked you to do. Could you also stay after the meeting so we can talk? Okay. Craig. Yes, Todd. I want you to prepare a schedule with the hourly workers divided up to give me 24-hour work with zero overtime. Absolutely. I know the guys will love to hear it. 
They will all be really excited too. Oh my gosh. Where in the hell are we at now? Uh, well. I guess I always wanted to be on a TV show. So I guess I just imagined it. Bloody hell. Can't you keep your mind on the task at hand? Um. So what is it this time? Shouldn't you be in a meeting giving them hell? Well I was. But. Hmm. I guess I lost my train of thought and just ended up back here. Well let's see. Did you use them like pawns in your game? And ask unreasonable things of them? Um, yes. Did you crush the ones who had original thoughts? Yes. Well I stopped them. And I am going to crush them later. After the meeting. Well, I suppose that we'll have to do for now. Did you remember to point while you were talking? Oh yes. Definitely. One more thing. And this is very important. Make sure you have the final word. You finalize the plan and remain in control of everything. Uh, okay I love these talks we have. Can we do some more hands-on training again soon? Uh, it's your imagination. I suppose we can do whatever you want. Although I would rather not. Hmm. Anything. Well I think that should bring this meeting to a close. Whoa. Hold on now. Oh, you're awake again. Let's go over the jobs again. Okay, I am handling the raw mill repairs. I am handling the kiln bricking. I am handling the finish mill job. And I am making the new schedules. No, this won't work at all. Jenna, you handle the schedules. Fred, you handle the finish mill job. Lonnie, you handle the raw mill repairs. Craig, you are in charge of the kiln bricking. It seems to me that this is the most efficient use of our time. That sounds great, Todd. I'm sure everyone will be really excited. Excuse me, but I think it would be best if we stick to the jobs we were already working on. Hmm. Well then in light of this new information. Mike, you handle the finish mill job. Fred, you handle the schedules. Lonnie, you handle the raw mill repairs. And Craig, you handle the kiln bricking. Todd. I have developed a schedule that would keep the crews working around the clock with next to no breaks and zero overtime just like you asked. Hmm. Well in light of this new information. Craig you are to handle the scheduling. Mike you are on the kiln bricking. Lonnie you are on the finish mill job. And Jenna I want you to give me a full inventory count of all the parts for all of the jobs. Todd. It's generally production's responsibility to handle the kiln bricking. I am the person with the most experience in bricking. Hmm. You know I was thinking the same thing. At the last 17 cement plants I have worked at, production has always been in charge of kiln bricking. And out of those 17 plants, all of them have gone out of business. So here is what I want to happen. Lonnie you are in charge of the kiln bricking. The rest of you are responsible for the jobs I already mentioned. Now let's have another meeting in two hours to talk about the specifics. Jenna and Fred please stay behind.